Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the GitHub Actions. Today we are going to learn workflows via the workflow dispatch event. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So GitHub Action workflows can be triggered not only by the events like pushes or the pull request, but also manual using the workflow dispatch event which we already discussed, right? This allows you to more control over the specific workflow runs. So the workflow dispatch event in GitHub Actions allow you to manually trigger workflows through the GitHub UI or the API. So this is useful for running the workflows on demand. So rather than relying on this only on the automated triggers such as code push or the pull request. To enable the manual triggering, your workflow YML needs to specify the workflow dispatch event in the on section on section you have to mention the workflow dispatch this signals that the workflow can be triggered manually okay so let's take an example and do that part okay so here we go with this one so i'm not going to do the checkout part so simple one i will use this one name manual workflow and triggered okay so i'm going to edit this so currently i'm going to this part workflow dispatch commit the changes so here you can see that when i go to the actions okay so this is only updated the yml file right so there is a no workflow runs okay so whenever i try to push the code or something i will do it will not going to be run okay so we have the manual workflow right so currently if i just go and check this one so this is pre pre Previous it is on push, right? So currently here you can see that uh, my schedule jobs. Okay, every five minutes. So here you can see that when I added the cron job, right? The previous one. Okay, so here you can see that it is run. This job is run every five minutes. So this the cron job is run. Here you can see. The previous job is run currently and currently if i uh, understanding the workflow dispatch event so here you can see that currently it's not there okay let's it's summary let's go to the actions again okay so there is nothing currently we have this is three minutes ago okay so there is no, not over here so runners one available runner that is currently and here you can see that we have to trigger it run the workflow manually now you have to make the one flow because the workflow has a dispatch event to trigger right so you have to run it manually here you can see that it will not run until you press the run work workflow to be manually right so main branch or whatever branch you want to run right so this is how you can do that this uh, example what is this workflow is named as manual workflow the event this it is triggered by the workflow dispatch event allowing manual trigger of the workflow there are no defined input parameters the manual job runs on ubuntu latest runner the print message step simply prints a message indicating that the workflow was triggered manually so to trigger this workflow manually navigate to the actions run a workflow okay so click on the run workflow right here you can do that and you can see that it will run okay Confirm the manual triggering on the workflow. The workflow will execute it and display the output message in the workflow logs showing that the message is this workflow was triggered manually. Okay. So this is how you can see that the workflow run here you can see. Okay. So this is how you can run the use the workflow dispatch event and in doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to like share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.